Welcome to another vocabulary lesson. Today, we're going to study many words that are related to families. Today's topic is families. We are also going to learn some different phrases that you can use when talking about families. At the end of the lesson, we will do some practice exercises to help you remember all of the words that you learned. Before we start, we publish new videos almost every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to learn about our latest videos. First, we're going to look at all the different vocabulary words we will learn today. To help you understand, I'm going to show you a family tree. This family tree has many different people in it. I hope that it will make it easier for you to understand the meanings of each vocabulary word. Okay, let's get started. Here is John. John is Susan's husband. Susan is John's wife. Tom is John's father. Mary is John's mother. Tom and Mary are John's parents. This is Mike. Mike is John's son. This is Melanie. Melanie is John's daughter. Mike is Melanie's brother. Melanie is Mike's sister. Tom is Melanie and Mike's grandfather. Mary is Melanie and Mike's grandmother. Tom and Mary are Melanie and Mike's grandparents. Mike is Tom and Mary's grandson. Melanie is Tom and Mary's granddaughter. This is George. George is John's brother. This is Kate. Kate is George's wife. Kate is John's sister-in-law. John is Kate's brother-in-law. Rick is George's son. Rachel is George's daughter. Rick is John's nephew. Rachel is John's niece. John is Rick and Rachel's uncle. This is Natalie. Natalie is John and George's sister. Natalie is Rick's, Rachel's, Mike's, and Melanie's aunt. Rick and Rachel are Mike and Melanie's cousins. Let's go over these words one more time. Husband. Wife. Father, mother, parents, son, daughter, brother, sister. Grandfather, Grandmother, Grandparents, Grandson, Granddaughter, Sister in law. 
brother-in-law, nephew, niece, uncle, aunt, cousin, Now, let's look at some different phrases that you can use when talking about families. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? You can also say this. Have you got any brothers or sisters? Have you got any brothers or sisters? These two phrases mean the same thing. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have two sisters. No, I am an only child. Do you have a big family? Do you have a big family? You can also say this. Do you come from a big family? Do you come from a big family? These two phrases have the same meaning. Do you have a big family? Yes, I have three sisters and two brothers. No, I only have one sister. Okay, it is time to do some practice exercises. It's okay to pause the video if you need more time to answer. Don't worry if you make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, especially the first time you learn something. Okay? Let's get started. In this exercise, we're going to use the family tree that I showed you earlier. Here it is. Use this family tree to finish the following sentences. Let's do number one together. Number one, Melanie is John's blank. So let's look at the family tree. Here we see Melanie, and here we can see John. From this, we know Melanie is John's daughter. So in our notebook, we will write number one, daughter. Just like that. Do the rest of the questions by yourself. Good luck.
Okay, now let's go over the answers. Number one, Melanie is John's daughter. Number two, Mike is Tom's grandson. Number three, Mary is Melanie's grandmother. Number four, Natalie is Mike's aunt. Number five, Melanie is Rachel's cousin. Number six, John is Natalie's brother. Number seven, Kate is John's sister-in-law. Number eight, Mary and Tom are Rick and Rachel's grandparents. Number nine, Mike, Melanie, Rick, and Rachel are Mary and Tom's grandchildren. Number 10, Rick is John's nephew. Number 11, John is Rachel's uncle. Number 12, Susan is John's wife. In this next exercise, we will continue to talk about John's family. I want you to finish these sentences. Okay, now let's go over the answers. Kate has a sister, Diane. Diane is Rick and Rachel's aunt. And Diane's husband is their uncle. Diane and her husband have one daughter, Lucy. Lucy is an only child. Diane's parents are still alive. Timothy is Diane's father, and his wife, Leslie, is Diane's mother. Timothy and Leslie have three grandchildren, Lucy, Rick, and Rachel. In this next exercise, I want you to answer my questions. Use your own information. 
please say your answers out loud. Good luck. Number one, do you have any brothers or sisters? Number two, do you have any cousins? Number three, do you have any nieces or nephews? Number four, do you have any grandparents? Number five, do you come from a big family? Your homework for this lesson is very easy. Tomorrow, I want you to write all of the words we learned today in your notebook. Don't worry if you can't remember all of the words. Just write as many as you can remember. Well, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot of new words. Remember, if you like this lesson, please hit the like button. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.